All right, guys, so it is Adobe Dimension time, and I'm gonna take you through a bit of a process to develop exactly what you're seeing on screen, your first rendering based on all of your AI Adobe Illustrator graphics that we've reviewed, okay? So before we get to this, uh, we are gonna go to our final AI file. And again, like I showed you guys in that demo, here's where we should be at right now. You wanna make sure you have plenty of space, plenty of bleed past your lines here. So I'm giving myself plenty here because I just wanna make sure everything wraps around these cylinders that are 3D models on um, Adobe Dimension, all right? So when you are ready with here, what I'm gonna start doing is you've got all these different elements, right? So I have like my trade dress here, I have my overall background, I have this ornate great little flower pattern thing here that's gonna be on there as well, okay? So you're gonna go over to your libraries and what you're gonna do is when you click on here, you can go down at the bottom, I believe is where it's at, let's see. Hold on for a second. I believe it's at the very bottom where it says create new uh, library. I don't know why this is stretching out the way it is. Hold on. Either way, let's get that. Libraries, still a mess. Let's bring it out solo. Yeah, so plus sign for a new library. I make a new library basically. This is one's called Starbucks. You can see I already made it. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna basically click on one of your things here. You right click or you can drag it and you say add to library. So what it's gonna do is it's gonna add this swatch. That's my artwork A. I can rename it if I want, just call it background. <clears throat> that helps you out, no problem, All right? Do the same with this, click this. Add to library, let's call that flower, okay? Perfect. So you can do individually like this, but one thing I would suggest is if you have a lockup like this where you have your uh, flavor name, your product name, and maybe this little line of, of text, I would group it all together or just select it all and move to library that way and call it text, whatever you need to do, okay? So we'll do that here. Awesome, all right. So you're gonna deal with all these individual pieces, your fluid ounces, your logo, you name it, all right? When all that's said and done, you're gonna to go to Adobe Dimension. Now, I'm gonna close this one, because I'm gonna start from scratch, okay? Go to new. All right, so when you're here, this is kind of what you get. One thing I wanna tell you guys to do first is to head over to this properties window. And what we wanna do is before we place anything, I wanna make sure you have a high enough resolution file so when you render it, your stuff looks really, really great. One thing I kind of have been zooming in on is I go about 2,500 pixels wide by 1,500 tall. And in your resolution, make sure you're at 300, okay? That's gonna give you a very, very good space here to work with, okay? When you hold your space bar down, it allows you to move your thing and zoom in and out with uh, this piece right here. You can just go here and zoom out a little bit and see what your piece looks like. There we go. So I'm gonna do it right around that size, okay? First step, <clears throat> so your libraries are already showing probably, or you have starter assets. These are your toggles. This is where all of your assets, all of your work is that you bring in and incorporate. So first thing I'm gonna do is go to starter assets. When I scroll up here, I can find all of these dimension models. Here's the squeeze tube. So you're just gonna place it right nice and center. Perfect, there we go. Now, if it's not straight, I take this little tool here and I'm going to drag and position it to exactly where I want, that looks nice and good, okay? We'll zoom in a little bit, move it around. You can see I'm still a little bit at an angle, so I'm gonna turn it right about there, okay? So I know I've got a big enough canvas. Um, let's see how it looks here. We can go bigger. Uh, your arrow selection here right under the plus sign, if you click and hold, you will get the scale tool here. You click that with this selected, I can now make this any size I want. I'm gonna shoot for that because I know I have two others. This should be a, a really good setup 
when I bring in the other guys. All right. So now let's build this guy. We go back to starter assets and we switch this to libraries. Okay. So here I got everything here. If it's not showing, you click this little bar and find your new library that you made for all of these new assets. So I'm already here in Starbucks. First thing I'm going to do, I have multiples in here because I've placed a few of them in there prior. I'm going to take my overall background and you literally just drag and drop right into here. Okay. Perfect. So double click and you get this circle that allows you to edit the contents. Again, if you hold your shift key down, it does it all in, um, in constraint. Uh, if you don't hold your shift key down, it will stretch and manipulate. Being that this is just a color, I'm going to be just fine with the way it is here. Okay. Perfect. Almost done. Look at that. Next thing up is the trade dress, that little pattern I have at the bottom. So I'm going to take that artwork, drag it in here, and you'll see you could do multiple assets on just this one model, right? So I'm going to shift key down and drag and go, yep, that looks just about right there. Okay. While I'm here, one thing I wanted to do was I want to add that wood grain or a specific custom color to just my cap, this piece right here. When this is selected and you go over here, you'll see squeeze tube in your scene. You should have, if you double click or click on that folder, you should see the elements. You have body and you have the lid. So when the lid is selected, I'm going to go back here to libraries, go to starter assets, and here you go to your materials. So you can see you got all these cool things. You have like light oak, you have walnut. Let's try what the walnut looks like. So I'm going to drag the walnut right over to it. Looks good, right? Not bad. Not bad at all. I kind of like it. I think that looks Starbucks-y to me. So we're good to go. Now, go back to starter assets, go to libraries. Next up is the Starbucks logo. So I'm gonna drag this guy right over. Perfect. Not the size I want, so let's bring it down a little bit here, okay? Right now I'm just eyeing things, nothing final. I can move things around as needed. I'm gonna take the Starbucks name, and collection. So Starbucks Home Sense is the name of my collection. I wanna make sure you guys have that. Lock it up in Illustrator because when you bring it in here, it should be together in all three the exact same way. And to make sure that happens, do it once in Illustrator, bring it into libraries, and now never edit these contents. It always stays together exactly the same way. Okay, so that way I know some of you have them where you're turning it on the jar. That's fine, you can obviously rotate this but I wanna make sure this stays locked up the way it is all the time. Next up is my <clears throat> flower. We'll bring this in here. Uh, total control. I can grab this guy and turn it any way I want, okay? So I'm gonna get it to maybe about like that. And let's make it maybe, try to get that flower kind of right in the corner, okay? Remember we were talking yesterday in our discussion with Matt about making sure your, your logo, particularly logos and marks, have breathing room around them. Don't take your thing here and overlap or do anything like that. Give it plenty of room, okay? If it means shrinking something down a little bit, no problem. Next up is our text. So I'm gonna bring that over here. Again, a little bit big. Let's shrink it down. I think the goal here is to line it up with home sense. So I'm gonna get it like right about there, make it a little bit bigger. Okay, one thing maybe this trade dress can come down a little bit and then I can take the Starbucks logo. There we go. I like the way that looks, that looks good. Okay, uh, fluid ounces right here. Again, bring it down to a nice comfortable size. How's that look? Uh, not bad, pretty good, okay. There we go, we've built our first bottle. It's looking really, really nice. All right, so you got everything here. Again, when I take this little ellipse, kind of like oval with the dot, I can see how everything looks, right? It looks really, really nice, okay? Bring it back to normal. Um, some finishing touches. I can go and grab just this guy, and with the metallic slide, I can give it a little bit of a metallic vibe. Let's do it to the Starbucks part two, okay? since they're both the same color. Now, when I go back to this turn, I can see that really nice foil, almost reflection on there. 
really, really nice. Okay, cool. So that's kind of your first bottle. That's all you need to do. You're bringing assets over. Always remember, hit a save at a certain point. Make sure you're calling this. So I'm gonna give this one uh, keynote demo two. Uh, this is in the way. Sorry. Perfect. Save that. Okay. Just to make sure so you're always good. All right. Now, after this, you're going to build your other two. And my next video, we're going to have all three of these together. And I'm going to start showing you what kind of backgrounds and things you can bring in. And we'll go over some lighting stuff. But your first step, your first thing here is to make sure you're just building your three models. Don't worry about backgrounds or lighting at this point just yet. Build this out as is, okay? If you want to get a cool little idea of how this is looking, you hit render. And then right over here, you have some, uh, some options. So I'm going to do it just medium right now and just a PNG. If you do PSD, it will take a little longer to render. Save that for your last one when you're doing, when it's all said and done. Uh, because what it will do is it will give you a layered PSD and you can fine tune shadowing, uh, lighting and everything in Photoshop as well. So you can see, I'm just doing a quick render right now. Um, and what it's doing is it's kind of putting all the assets together. You can already see like the little shimmer of the, um, the metallic on there as well. I'll give this a few more seconds and see if it actually does something. Um, it usually takes me in the PSD high resolution form with my computer. I think it's got about, I'm at about 32 megs of RAM. So it works pretty quickly. You can see even this one here is going pretty quick. Um, I'd say a full blown one takes me at least 10 minutes sometimes. Uh, I know with slower computers, it might take a little bit of time. So what I would just suggest is do this work. Um, don't worry about the rendering right now, first of all. I'm just doing this as a quick test to see like, look at that. It's like perfect, perfect shadow, perfect shading looks really, really good, okay? So this is it for Dimension episode one. We will continue on with our next one once we're there. Uh, your job is to build all three in either Dimension or in your smart objects uh, ready for our next review on Monday night. All right, guys, that is it. I'm going to end this one. We'll talk to you soon, all right? Later.